Hello, I'm Adrian Finnegan. And I'm Tony Beckett. This is The World Today from BBC News. Rwanda's president declares victory in the first elections since 1994's genocide. International condemnation of the bombings that killed at least 50 in the Indian city of Mumbai. A reported the February space shuttle disaster is expected to criticize a culture of complacency at NASA. And in business, why vital Vivendi talks today have some of the world's biggest media players on tenterhooks. Hello, welcome to the world today with an hour of the latest international news, business and sport. The Rwandan president, Paul Gagami. Now the business headlines, Tanya's here. Adrian, thank you very much. Yes, Vivendi Universal, the world's second big trade. I'll be back with more on that when I come back for the BBC's World Business Report. That's in 20 minutes. Adrian, see you there. Tony, we'll see you later. Now, firefighters have been battling forest fires that have been burned. This is The World Today from BBC News. Still to come on the programme, Francis Collings is here with the international sport. And North Korea's delegates arrive in Beijing for six-way talks on their country's nuclear programme. But first, a look at the stories uh, making news in the UK this morning. Two of Tony Blair's senior... Hello again, this is The World Today from BBC News in London. I'm Adrian Finnegan. The headlines. Rwanda's president has declared victory in the first elections since the 1994 genocide. There's been international condemnation of the bombings that killed at least 50 in the Indian city of Mumbai. And coming up in the World Business Report, Ritania Vivendi's board meets to decide on the new owner of its universal media assets. The U.S. Defense Secretary... Uh, Francis Collings is here with the latest sports news, including news of the World Athletics Championship. Yes, indeed, yes. A terrific Sunday at the Stade de France in Paris. It's going to be sad to see Pete Sampras go, but not entirely unexpected. Not entirely unexpected, no. No. Right, Francis, he hasn't played the best part of a year. No, absolutely. Okay. Now, on August the 26th in 1940, we'll take a break now for a weather forecast, but before we do, the main news again. In Rwanda's presidential elections, the incumbent Paul Kagame has declared victory after early results show him gaining an overwhelming majority. The elections are the first since the genocide of 1994. There's been widespread international condemnation of the bomb attacks in the Indian city of Mumbai, which killed at least 50 people and injured nearly 150 others. And the panel investigating the loss of the Columbia Space Shuttle and its crew of seven astronauts is to reveal its findings today. The report is expected to be hard-hitting and have far-reaching implications for the US space agency, NASA. Tanya Beckett's here with the World Business Report after a summary of the world news. And that's in just a few moments. The weather's next, though. Bye-bye for now. Hello again, this is The World Today from BBC News. I'm Adrian Finnegan. Tanya will be here in a moment with the World Business Report. But first, a reminder of the top news stories. Rwanda's president has declared victory in the first elections since the 1994. If you want to get in contact with us, biznews at bbc.co.uk is our email address. I'm Tanya Beckett. That was The World Business Report. And I'm Adrian Finnegan. This has been The World Today from BBC News.